a monumental achievement. It is time for Q&A number 10 here at the Wrestling Unlimited YouTube channel and the Facebook group page. And if you want your questions answered in a future Q&A video, go to the group, post your questions as comments to the status that asks for your questions. This Q&A was all about Brock Lesnar. I got a pretty decent response, so thank you all for submitting the questions, even though I only got four people. Uh, I still got enough questions to rock out a Q&A all about Brock Lesnar, the beast incarnate. Alec Costaval, would he be? Would Brock Lesnar be at the same level if he never had Paul Heyman, or would he be much lower? That is a great question. This is a really, really, really good question because you have to think about this for a second. In terms of wrestlers that Paul Heyman has actually managed, which of them actually benefited from having Paul Heyman as the as their manager? No one else except Brock did. So you would have to think that Brock would probably be lower if he didn't have Paul Heyman as his manager. He might have gotten himself over with just his wrestling ability, but in terms of his mic skills, if he didn't have that mouthpiece there, he would be nothing. I'm sorry. And like I said, maybe he would have gotten himself over just by his wrestling ability alone. But only that can get you so far. Especially in the WWE today. I mean, it's not just all about the wrestling anymore. It's about the stories. It's about the build-up. It's about, um, you know, the fan reaction, the storytelling during the match, the aftermath of the match. So it's all about all of those other things. And, and it turns into a problem when it comes to in-ring quality, that kind of gets pushed up, pushed to the side and to the back burner when dealing with all of these other categories that describe matches. So, I mean, I guess he would be better off... He wouldn't have been better off without Heyman. I think Heyman is what made Brock Lesnar, you know, noticeable, what made Brock Lesnar get over. Um, like I said, maybe he'll get over with his wrestling ability, but again, only that can get you so far. Uh, where is Suplex City? I kind of figured I'd get this question, and, uh, there's really one simple answer. It's wherever I am. I'm just kidding. Um, where is Suplex City? Uh, Los Angeles, California, SummerSlam 2014. Ask John Cena where it is. That's all I have to say. On the spectrum of car destruction and wrestling, where does Lesnar and the caddy rank? Uh, there's got to be in the top ten, but again, that's really not saying a lot. WWE has done a lot of cool stuff with cars over their history, especially considering... Um, you know, what they did in the late Attitude Era with The Rock and with DX and with Austin, you know, destroying the DX Express and then uh, flipping Triple H upside down with the forklift inside of his car. And then, um, you know, you had Vince McMahon and his stupid little blow-up stunt, which uh, turned into a big controversy with Chris Benoit and everything like that. So they've done some cool... Uh, and kind of wacky stuff with cars. But in terms of great uh, stunts and, and spots with cars, it's got to be in the top five to seven. But mm, it's, I guess that's mainly based on your opinion. Um, uh, I just answered that question. Any, any, no matter how slight chance for Lesnar versus Austin at WrestleMania, oh, there's a chance... But there's no chance of me actually caring for this match. I mean, I get what they're trying to do. But in order to do that, you would have to switch Brock back to a heel. And why would you do that when you just turned a babyface, inadvertently turning a babyface because of his feud with Roman Reigns? And, you know, what shape is Austin in? I mean, we don't know. He claims to be in the best shape of his life. But do we believe him? I mean, he's kind of been saying that for years. And then he always switches back and forth with it and says, 
oh, I'm, I'm in good shape, but I'm not ready for a match, or, oh, I'm ready for a match, I'm in great shape, oh, I'm in terrible shape, my neck hurts, my knee hurts, this and that. So, honestly, I don't really think the match will happen. There's a chance, but I really hope it doesn't happen, because I don't want to see it. I mean... If, if this was main... All right, well, let me rephrase that. If you had this match to put asses in AT&T Stadium, maybe that'll draw the crowd. But we all know the match would suck. Maybe it can tell some kind of a story, but, again, you have Austin, who hasn't competed since 2003. Then you have Brock, who comes out every freaking match looking like Dynamite. Would that match really go well? And especially if you have Austin come here after this large 12-year hiatus or 13-year hiatus and lose. But then again, if Austin wins, isn't that a big step down for Brock? Losing to a guy who hasn't wrestled in 13 years? You gotta think about that too. In theory, it'd be a, th a dream match, but at the same time, I just don't see how that match could take place. If Brock Lesnar is the mayor of Suplex City, who makes up the city council? Uh, John Cena. Uh, Roman Reigns. Big Show. Undertaker. Um, you're, you're catching my drift, right? You're, you're, you're getting what I'm saying? Okay, good. <laughs> Um, who else, who else, J&J &J Security, 3MB, oh God, <laughs> uh, who would win in a fight, Brock or every WWE superstar, uh, you know, at this rate, I'll go Brock, especially today's WWE, they have nobody who could step up to face this guy, I don't even think Seth's ready. And I'll talk about that when I do my Battleground uh, preview and predictions video, but that match just doesn't really work for me, and I'll explain why in that video. Uh, Matt Anthony, when will the Shark ask for his rematch? I th uh, You mean Brock? I don't know what you mean by Shark. Um... Uh, I, I, I can't answer your question because I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, Christopher Rubio, if Brock doesn't win Sunday, what's next for him at SummerSlam? Uh, you know, I honestly think this match should be at SummerSlam. It makes no sense that it's not. But maybe a rematch between Brock and Roman Reigns. If you don't want to push this Bray Wyatt feud long term... Then I would do Brock versus Roman again. Maybe the winner gets a title shot. You know, that could work. But otherwise, who the hell knows if he's even going to be at SummerSlam? It's just my opinion. Uh, favorite match and competitor he has faced? I feel like every match that he has with Kurt Angle is gold. So I would have to go Kurt Angle. Uh, when Brock hurt Mark Henry at Old School Raw and Big Show pretty much owned him... Uh, what did you think of the match they had at the Royal Rumble? I think it worked perfectly in terms of the story. You were trying to establish Brock as the biggest threat in the business. You were just uh, trying to establish him as the guy to beat, the guy that nobody can beat, and the guy who can beat anyone. So I think that that went well. I was not a fan of the feud. I did not want to see the feud. I did not want to see the match. But I think that it did work in story. <sighs> uh, that was a freaking mouthful. Walter Main finishes it off with some questions. Will Brock Lesnar murder Seth Rollins? Uh, I think Seth's going to win in some cheap way. So no, I don't. And I'll explain in uh, a video coming later this week about why I think that. Uh, who will Brock Lesnar face at SummerSlam and WrestleMania? Again, who the hell knows who he's going to face at SummerSlam? In terms of WrestleMania, Austin's an option. There's always the Cena option, but I don't want to see that again. There's always the Seth option, 
there's always the Roman option. You know, if you really want to go with this early with Kevin Owens versus Brock Lesnar, I mean, it, that would be kind of a dream match, but I don't know if I want to see it personally. Especially this early. Uh, would Batista versus Brock Lesnar be a good match? Uh, in terms of a technical masterpiece, no. But in terms of a match that will get over, um, a match that could actually work in story or just work um, in terms of just two powerhouses going at it, then I guess it could work. But again, I am not the biggest Batista fan. And every, a lot of people know that. So I personally would not want to see that match. Uh, Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Great match or greatest match? How about no match at all? Again, when would that work? When would that have worked in the past? And when will it ever work after today? It just won't. Uh, how long would I survive in Suplex City? <sighs> well, you'd have a guarantee that you wouldn't get hurt, so you'd probably survive. But if, if everything was real, then uh, you probably would not last two minutes. Just saying. Uh, is Brock Lesnar a shaved gorilla? He's booked that way. It's true. Could Brock Lesnar beat a bear? In today's WWE, he could beat pretty much anybody. You saw how he manhandled Cena on more than one occasion. And then manhandled Roman. And even though he lost the title, still manhandled Roman. So, yeah, he could he could take on a bear. Why the hell not? Is Brock Lesnar human? This is sort of a trick question. Because isn't he referred to as a beast? Come on, Walter. Come on, man. If be I need better questions than that. Come on, that's a terrible way to end this Q&A. But I will say that the Friday Q&A will be all about Battleground 2015. So start posting your questions about Battleground 2015. And I'll answer them on Friday or whenever the hell I feel like uploading the video, slash recording the video. So thanks again for submitting questions, and for those who will submit questions on Friday, I thank you. For those who have been submitting questions, I thank you. For those who will continue to submit questions, I thank you. And until then, good night.